The next question is an example of how you can plug in for variables independent of one another. How many hours are there in D days and H hours? When you read that question the first time, it can be easy to misunderstand what's even being asked. And you might just look down at the answer choice and say, oh, probably there's a 24 in there. Oh, well, they all have a 24 in there. That's not so helpful. Let's take a look at how we might solve this. First, what do we want to know? How many hours? We want to know how many hours there are in some unknown value of days and some unknown value of hours. If you see variables in the question and variables in the answer choices explicitly here as D and H, we can make up whatever we like. Let's say that we're going to use D equals one. That's one day. And we're going to say that H equals three. And remember, you can choose whatever numbers you want. It's still going to work. So the question now wants to know how many hours are there in one day and three hours? Well, in one day, it's 24 hours. In three more hours than that, we've got 27. Because we've chosen the numbers, all we do is now take a look at the answer choices, use the numbers that we've selected, D equals one and H equals three, and see which one gets us the value of 27. When we put them all in and we take a look at B, we've got three plus 24 times one is 27. 